Hi, and welcome to Monster Lab. Today, we're gonna show you how to make eyes the distortions way. And, uh, how do you like my new girlfriend? Oh, shut up. Anyway, if you like this sort of thing, be sure and subscribe. All right, see you there. Okay, today we're gonna work on this mask. Now there's something wrong with this mask. Let's see if we can figure out what it is. So, is it this? Okay. Is it this? Okay, how about this? There's always one guy. All right, how about this? The eyes have it. All right, let's begin. Okay, so let's get started. First, we're gonna use white FW ink. Now, it's important that this not be thinned. Uh, it should stay opaque. And now, what I've done is added a little bit of antler brown, a little bit of black, and a little bit of yellow, and that's drops. So get, you know, mix whatever you think you need. Not, you're not gonna need much for this. And then just put enough of those in it to make kind of a off-white. It's much more natural. And I'm just spraying. The eyeball's white. Now you can brush it in there, and it's actually a little bit better if you brush it in, but it's not really that important. Now we come in with the black ink. Again, uh, this is pretty dark. You can add, like, if you want to thin it a little bit so that the, the ink itself becomes like its own solvent, uh, and you can add, like, maybe 50% um, of the 70% uh, rubbing alcohol to the black ink, and this is all FW ink. Now, I just put a light, hazy circle around the eyes to indicate light. You know, it's, it's just receding. And then uh, put the whole um, iris black. Okay, going in for the fine detail. Now, um, the green. Now what I'm doing here is I'm coloring the inside and I'm leaving just a little bit of a black ring around the edge. Um, and uh, it's, it's a very fast way of getting, um, you know, a fairly realistic look. Now I've just taken a straight water-based paint. This is not thinned. It's, um, it doesn't have rubber in it. It's just straight paint out of the can jet black and I, I'm putting it on the wrong end of a paintbrush if you can see that. And I'm having her look up because she's dead. I don't know if you knew that, she's dead. Okay, then my favorite pen trick, uh, I like to come along the bottom with it, you can kind of color in the eye a little bit there and then in with the, uh, the veins. Okay, now, now this is just a regular ink pen. It's got the ball point. Um, there's different kinds you can experiment, but uh, these work pretty darn good and they're very cheap. This would do probably a thousand zombies, maybe more. Okay, so I'm gonna let those black dots dry a minute and then we'll come in with the gloss. So the eye dots are dry and I'm going to put on epoxy. 
I am going to use this DevCon five minute clear epoxy. Don't need much, it's only one pair of eyes. We go through a lot of this stuff. So in here I have part A and part B, equal amounts. You just squeeze them out. Some of them are like twin hypodermic needles and it measures it for you. Um, and I just get a brush and stir them up, but stir them up good, but not so good it takes five minutes and it's hard. Okay, and then you just right on the eyes. Be sure and get the whole eye all the way to the corners. And that's good. If you have some like lip, you can go ahead and hit the lip a little. Uh, and if you don't want it quite so shiny, you can just rub some of it off and control it that way. Now, here's, there's some deep tricks I'm gonna show you that really are helpful. Um, you would think you just need to throw this out. I used to think that, but actually you can have a little can of acetone, you have to have it in a metal can and you have to have a lid on it or it's gone. And you dip it in and you kind of squeeze out and then you just keep going in, kind of jostling it in there and squeeze it out. And you can save a nice brush and and um, there's really some advantages to not using cheap throwaway brushes we always used to use the cheap ones and they don't work so good this works great I'm gonna tell you one other trick here while we're at it but here's the trick these airbrushes I use airbrushes to run latex through like the our, our paint mixture you can watch the monster lab on making base paint um, that has uh, latex, regular indoor house paint, and water. And I'll run that through these guns. Sometimes I'll add a little more water if I'm like spraying teeth and stuff prior to a rub out. Um, and the ink you can thin with 70% alcohol, but the problem is this. If you do that and you have any rubber in the brush, it coagulates it, and that's no good and you gotta take the whole brush apart and clean it all out with pipe cleaners. Here's the trick. The trick is clean both with ammonia, regular ammonia. Now, there's industrial strength. It should be clear. It can be sudsy, I guess. I just use clear non-sudsy, uh, and it can be regular or industrial. I'll, I'll tell you, I went to um, the hardware store and I bought industrial, I bought a gallon of industrial, and for some strange reason, I. I thought it would be a good idea to smell it, you know, because well, industrial, what's that? And, and I took a whiff of that in the store. And I won't go into details, but I made a scene at the hardware store from smelling that stuff. So if you use industrial, don't smell it real hard because it, it's, <laughs> it's like a punch in the face. Okay, so that's a little tip. Keep water in a spray bottle for clear, clearing out your brushes, but also ammonia, regular ammonia or industrial, either one works. Uh, and that's, that's one of those tips that just makes life a lot easier. All right. She's got her eyes. She's beautiful. And now, my favorite part, I'm gonna blood her up. Okay, so that's a good looking ghoul. And we're gonna let her dry a little bit and she is ready to go. You knew the job was dangerous when you took it. Be 
Make sure and subscribe.